If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. I post a new Tom Brady video every day. Brady, you can't ask for anything more. Guys who play well and play well in big moments. Games on the line. And to have that moment against the Rams as your final game, down 27-3, to you come back, you tie it. He scared the hell out of the Rams. He just ran out of time. Tom Brady not only defied the odds coming into the league, which we've discussed, of course, for years and years, his draft status and what he overcame, but that he also defied them exiting the NFL. You know, I, I remember the first time he said he was going to play until 45. I think it was 2017. And I also remember my reaction, which was, no way. <laughs> like, this guy's mm -hmm. nuts. This is not going to happen. He's not yeah. going to play until he's 45. That's never, never been done before. And not only that, he's not going to do it at a high level. The fact that he went to Tampa, won the Super Bowl, and then this season, his final year in the NFL, age 44, led the league in passing yards, MVP candidate, led the league in touchdowns. It defies logic. He did everything that you could possibly ask for, and then some. He had nothing left to play for. Like, you're, you're actually competing against yourself. So I'll give you a list of the four or five things when I think about Tom, they define Tom. And number one, in no particular order, but number one, it's that moment in the documentary with his gorgeous supermodel wife in the next door and a great family. It's the off season. And here's Tom. I watch tape all day Monday, all day Tuesday, and then Saturday before the game I watch film, and then Sunday morning I watch film. I don't know why I can sit here and watch it and, you know, process information quickly, but I can. Running and lifting has been much harder to develop than this. This has kind of been in me. I mean, I could literally, like, just watch film all day. Dogma over duty. He never saw it as a duty. Watching film defined him. He wasn't the biggest, the strongest, the fastest, but he was the most prepared. And it started not at work, but at home. Dogma over duty. And you guys know we've covered this league for a long time. Superstars don't leave on top. How many quarterbacks have we watched at the very end? You know, talk about Breeze, Manning, Roethlisberger, where it was so clearly time for them to leave and everybody knew it. But Tom Brady could have played for several more seasons and continued to be one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. And I just think that pr might be the most remarkable thing he accomplished because like a lot of people, I did not think it was possible. The second thing I think about is actually an awkward moment. And it speaks to mentor and pupil. It was the game ball moment. It's a really good job offensively patching it together, kind of running short bodies there. But you guys really sucked it up and did what we had to do there. It's a nice job. We had uh, Tom second on the all-time passing list now. Almost awkward. And sometimes the mentor-pupil relationship is. They never went to dinner in 22 years. And you don't have to. You never have to. You don't have to be best friends but they shared a passion and a love for great football. And that was more than enough to create the greatest dynasty of all time. He's still so good. And he still has such yeah. a profound impact. I really, really, really wanted, it would have been nice to see him in one last Super Bowl, win, lose, or draw. Just seeing him in a moment with everything on the line. Yeah. It's me or you, it's 60 minutes left. The winner's the champion, mm. the loser's the runner-up. 22 years wasn't enough. No, no, no. I'm not saying it wasn't enough. I'm just saying <laughs> that, you know what, you know, listen, listen. I mean, we eat every day, don't we? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you <laughs> always times. Wanna, you always want to eat. So I'm just saying that, that that that's the one thing. Because he's so good and he has yeah. the ability to lead the way that he does, you know, I really, really wish that, you know, this Super Bowl coming up, it would have been him with one final moment. The third thing I think about, which I think defines Tom, and it's a memory I just can't ever get out of my head, is when he wasn't on the field. It's when he had done his job with four touchdown passes. He was on the sidelines when Malcolm Butler picked off Russell Wilson. Play clock at five. Pass is in. 
intercepted at the goal line by Malcolm Butler. Amazing. They try to pick play Al. They tried to go here, but he beats him to the punch. And I'm sorry, but I can't believe the call. And there is Brady as demonstrative as ever. Brady looks like a 12-year-old. And that is a big part of Tom. Never bitter, never cranky. Tom played football in his mid-40s like it was junior high football. He's jumping around with all the money, all the life, all the accolades, all the fame, like a 12-year-old on the sidelines. He never was above it. He was never cool, too cool for it. It was about the love of the game. I've always wanted to play with a quarterback uh, like Tom. So you heard the story about me sneaking in the hotel and, and <laughs> telling him I want to play with him. And then getting there, then getting there with Tom uh, and just seeing his preparation, uh, his leadership, you know, how he goes about his business was just something that, I, that I've always admired just because he, 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 you, you don't really expect it out of your quarterback. And I just thought that if he's the hardest working man in the building, then the sky's the limit for, the, for your team and your organization. And then going off winning, the, you know, seven Super Bowl rings is, is just phenomenal. And finally, not even a pandemic could stop Tom. The image of the helicopter footage in a global pandemic and Tom gathering teammates, most he had just met on a high school field. This is Brady's essence. Nothing will stop me to get an edge. Remember what the country was going through. We couldn't leave our houses at this time. We weren't sure if this was legal. Was he crossing a line? It was, to me, the essence of Tom is leadership, communication, getting an edge, doing every little thing. We didn't see a single quarterback in America doing this. Many may have, but the fact that you could immediately change the culture, he got no preseason, he got no OTA, he got no camp, this was it. And I think that defines Tom. Every little tiny edge possible he uncovered it drilled down deeply in it and got the most out of it That's it for this video. I post a new Tom Brady video every day, so please like and subscribe. That way you'll always have a new Tom Brady video to watch every single day.